Hey, what is going on everyone? So for this video, we're going to be taking a look at Forlom. Now this is an older figure, and I'm sure lots of reviews have already been done on Forlom, but I just got him from Amazon at a really good price, $21.99. As you know, the rest of the bounty hunters are super expensive right now, kind of hard to find, but I just figured I'll go ahead and get Forlom now to stick him over there with Zuckus. He's the only, uh, the only other bounty hunter I have. But that's what the front looks like. You can see the figure inside and his heavy blaster. I think that's a DLT-19, actually. Uh, but there's the front of the box. That side has the large font, for Lom. That side's just red. It's number 67. The top is black. The bottom, for some odd reason, they put a barcode sticker over the barcode. Stuff no one reads. And on the back, you get a larger picture of for Lom, stuff no one reads, and a bio in various languages. And the bio just says, Forlom, a rusty droid with insectile features. Forlom was originally a protocol droid, but logic glitches allowed him to escape his programming and become a bounty hunter. That proved to be a perfect occupation for the cold calculating mechanical. I'm going to get him open and let's take a look at him. Okay, so I got Forlom or 4LOM. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I just call him Forlom. It's less syllables, <laughs> but, but I got him out of the box. And let's just take a quick little overview of the figure. Such detail on those eyes. That looks fantastic. All this stuff in here looks really, really good. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you got light coming from behind his head, the eyes light up green, which I think is genius. His chest looks like that. Got that red stripe. I don't know what that is. It's like a, it's like a little mark. I don't know. It looks cool. You know, but the rustiness and the dirtiness of it, just looks really, really nice. All this in here looks really, really good. He's got some more dirt and rust and grime down here on his legs. All up through here. The knees and, you know, his lower leg is really grimy, rusty. Back of the legs look like that. You know, they sort of continued all this rust, you know, uh, back here, even on the back that you're probably not going to see. It's still there. All this in here looks really good. This is really nice up in here. That's what the back of the head looks like. I love the green shining, shining from the back there, making his eyes light up. God, it's just neat. So let's look at articulation on Forlom. So the head can go side to side. He can look down that much, and he can look up that far, and he's got some pretty decent tilt. The arms go up to there, and they can rotate around, but they rotate here. This up here doesn't seem to turn. He has a single jointed elbow, and if you notice this little bit right here, this little piston sort of follows in that track right there, and that's all you got right there, just right at 90. And again, as far as any kind of swivel, it's right up here. Actually, this one was stuck. I mean, really stuck. So this top piece does turn, and this one's fine. He has a swivel at the wrist. The right hand hinges up and down. And he's got a side-to-side -side hinge on the left. He has a little bit of swivel at the midsection. He can't really crunch forward, but he can go back that far. If you rotate the thighs out a little bit, you can get the legs up that far. So swivel at the thigh. That's really hidden by all this right here. It's really nice. Single jointed knee gets up to there. Feet go down that far. They go up that far. And they can swivel at the ankle. And as far as accessories, he comes with this heavy blaster. And like I mentioned, I think this is a DLT-19 with the bipod on the bottom. But it's just black. But it's it's got some really nice detail with the ventilated barrel. That side looks like that. Just more of the same. It's just black. It's got a little bit of detail on the handle there. You can see the trigger in there. Yeah, it's cool. So let's see what he looks like holding this rifle. So that goes in. But it's not very stable. His hand is kind of far apart as far as the trigger finger and the thumb. It's almost like the handle of the rifle is too small for his hand. It just it just kind of flops in there. You know, but for two-handed posing, that is not too bad for a stiff droid. The stock actually winds up, you know, pretty close to his shoulder. The fact that this wrist can hinge up and down really helps. Yeah, that is not bad at all for two-handed on a droid. So I'd have to say, I like Forlom a lot. 
And like I mentioned at the beginning, yes, this is an older figure, and I'm sure lots of reviews have been done on him already. But like I said, I just got this guy and just thought I would share my thoughts on him. But dang, what a cool looking figure. And I love the light coming through the eyes. I mean, that is just really just a cool idea if you can somehow backlight him like all the time and, uh, you know, have his eyes glow green. That is just cool. Yeah, but all the detail in here just looks really nice. You know, the rustiness, the dirtiness, all these little joints and pistons up here. This little bit is a nice touch. All this in here is really nice. All this up here is just really, really neat. And for a droid, you know, to get in a two-handed aiming pose like that, I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this one. So if you like stuff like this, be sure and hit like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell. I would certainly appreciate it. And let me know what you think of Forlom. I, for one, love this droid. This guy is just killer. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll just see you guys on the next one.